I know that you can see me, and I know that you know that I can feel you watching me. I am the Sensational Stina. If you're new to my channel today, welcome. And today is September. I don't know, but what I know is that Sephora has just launched a new beauty line by Selena Gomez. Blackie. Ice cream, chillin, chillin. Yes! And her new product is called The Rear Beauty. Rear Beauty. So I took my whole cute self to Sephora and I used my own legal tender to purchase The Rear Beauty. So let's see what my legal tender has gotten me. So if you like this look, keep watching. <laughs> start looking into the foundation first this is grateful rear beauty color grateful and it is 0 0.25 florin ounce great travel sizes obviously and the other one is called lucky lucky is on the pink side and grateful is on the really red side so firstly all of those products are not crash money they are spent responsible and i am ready to open it up and try it out. This is my first time opening it. I've not opened it at all. So this is Lucky. It's look frosty. I don't know if this is a glass. Sound like a glass, but I'm not sure if it's a glass. See how I can grab it. It's make it even easier for people with arthritis to be able to open this easily. I think uh, Kristen Dior makeup has something similar to this, if I can remember correctly, if I'm not brain switching right now. You know, sometimes you feel like you've seen something somewhere before because you're seeing it right now. Okay, yeah, maybe. Maybe I think Dior. I think Dior. Do you, do you have something like this? And one thing I like about this is it looks very simple and elegant. This is my first time touching the one that I use my little tender to. I went to Sephora and I tried it there and this is the first time I've actually laid my hand on this one right now. It looks like a lipstick. I feel like... I can actually apply this to my lip. I don't know what it's going to look like. I can add some lip gloss, apply it to my lip, and it might work out. But I really want to try this too before I actually start putting on my foundation. I want to try a dab of this on my bare skin. I've applied my serum and everything else I need to put on my face, but I think I want to try this on my face. And the reason why I'm trying this on my face is a lot of time when I go out for casting, go sees, and all that stuff, I usually wear very light makeup. Sometimes I just want a touch of color on my cheekbone. I'm just going to dab a little bit on here. Very tiny bit. That's what I use. It's so light. It has a little bit of a gloss to it. Hmm? Look at that. I don't have it on here. I have it on here. So I'm going to use Grateful on this side of my chin. Grateful is pretty red. I feel like I want to just put Grateful on my lips. So I'm going to dab. Just a tiny bit. That's not even up to a drop. Grateful look like my kind of color. Let's finger it again. Getting mine out of the gutter. It's red, but on my on me, it's coming out as pink. I guess because I put just a little bit. It beautifully complements my skin. That's the word I'm looking for. It complements my skin. Now, is this wearable all day? I don't know. So let's get to the foundation and see how we can build up this face from the ground up. Huh? Is that what Drake said? We started from the ground up? No, that's not what he said. Started from the bottom, now we're here. This is also my first time trying to open this foundation. So let's see, let's see. This is in color 450 N. Rare Beauty is one ounce. I always look at how many ounces my things are. I travel a lot. I've not opened this at all. This is my first time touching it, right? This happened with the other one. It looks like somebody has already opened, already touched. And there's oil. There's oil coming out, right? So let's see. <gasps> No. Clean up on IO Sensational. It's on my dress. 
I need a dry cleaner. It's very watery. Should I put it on the back of my hand? Maybe I should shake it. Ooh, you can hear. Ha, huh. shaky, shaky. Money, money. Eh, eh. Oof. Oof. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Okay, just be careful. When you get this stuff, try to shake it. Try to open it gently. Try to pull it out gently, gently. Otherwise, you make a boo boo. So this foundation application, firstly, I really like it. I like it a lot. I like the angle that it has. You see how it's angled? Makes it easy for you to apply your foundation, especially if you're applying a uh, concealer. I think this will be so great for concealer because you can get deep down there and just pull it out and the shape is... I, I'm just fascinated or I'm excited or I just like how those balls look. Know what you're thinking. The foundation comes in 44 colors. I'm going to tell you what it looks like and feel like on my skin. If you have my type of a skin tone, you will have an idea what it's going to look like on you. And I hope I picked my right color because I tried it in Sephora and this was the color that matched me the best. So it's color 450N. Already I have a little bit of the back of my hand. Looking at it right now, it's about two shade lighter than my skin color. I am going to first blend it into, yeah, it seems a little lighter. So I tried three that could be my color, and this was the match. I tried one that is either darker than this, another one lighter than this, and this was the one that matched me the best. I guess maybe in Sephora light, and now I'm in my own light. Let's see how this works. Like I said, it is my first time trying to use this, so don't, don't drop on me again. Don't, do not drop on me again, okay? All right, let's get it. I'm just gonna go over that. I'm going to use my brush. I'm using the Palladio foundation based brush for this. On the other side, I'll use my beauty blender to blend this. Now, there's a sponge that comes with this. So I wanted to buy the sponge. I saw the sponge. I felt the sponge. So I said, no. This feels like I don't have anything on my face. It feels so light. It's even covering. I have like a little dark spot here. I can still see it, but it covers a little bit. I think I want to build it up. Let me add more. Don't drop on me, please. I just put it on my forehead. And I'm going to just add more a bit. Just to get a bit on. I'm really impressed. I think this will look nice trying to build it up. I've been trying to do my hair myself, I bought myself a bit, and it just covered up. It just covered up. I was worried about it being too light and too watery. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. And look at this. This really picks up a lot. It doesn't look like it. Like this. Ah. So my beauty blender, blending in nicely. I did not wet my beauty blender. I'm using it dry, blending in really nicely. This is cool. Using the beauty blender uh, on here, I can see a little bit of a crease line underneath my eye with this. It just goes in nicely. Here, it looks like I've worn my face. Yeah, it looks dewy. I like this. I'm surprised. This is the one with my brush. I can feel or see a little bit of a brush stroke, very tiny, very non noticeable. And here, uh, it's very nice and dewy. I approve of this. Let's see if it's gonna crease, if I can wear this all day. What would this look like later on? Can I go out with this, do some other stuff. I wanna wear you for a few more days. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> like I'm shaking a Congo. <laughs> I am going to apply this. Okay, this is not too watery like the foundation. Oh wait, I don't think that this concealer could give me the Mama Ding Mama Mama Ding Mama look. Let's see.
forget to use my brush to blend this in and this is my BH Cosmetic 128 it's really light white weight this is really beautiful this is nice I've used my brush to blend underneath my eye I think I want to try a beauty blender just to see how it blends if I'm going to have to work this hard it's like making me work for my money work for your money girl I've already paid for this why do I have to work this hard to blend this thing mm. I use the other side of my beauty blender, the plain side. The thing is, when I use the beauty blender, it seems lighter than using the brush. I don't know if anyone else would have the same experience. Is it my skin tone? Or is it the way I'm applying this? I'm really going really light. Almost like a machine that's not touching it. What do you think? Have you tried using this? How did it work for you? Did you see a bit of a difference when you use your beauty blender or when you use your brush to blend your foundation and when you use your brush or beauty blender to blend in your concealer? I like to get all the bone. The jaw bone, the chin bone, the cheek bone, the forehead bone. Because I like using beauty blender and brush with this makeup because it really there's a big difference when I use my beauty blender to blend in the foundation and also when I use the beauty blender to blend this in. It's pretty different and I like it. And you can still see, I use my brush, I use my beauty blender for the side of my face and I use the brush for the side of my face. They are looking pretty the same around now. But they are both also creasing and obviously that's because I have a tiny line under my eye so it's creasing under the eye, it's creasing above the eye. That is normal with foundations. Since they didn't have no makeup palette, I am going to be using, using a different makeup palette to finish up my face. I bought the liner and I bought the lipstick and I'll be using those as well. But before I get to them, let me finish up my face. I did not buy the brow pencil because I saw the brow pencil. It's in an angle. I already have something in that angle. And since I'm using my jaw and I to get this stuff, I decided, you know what? I'll keep that for another time. I would not keep it for another time. I'm not going to buy it at this moment. I'm only buying things that I need, I want to try on, I want to share my experience, and I want to be able to use again, hopefully. I actually think I would use this foundation and this uh, concealer again. Definitely, definitely, I will be using it again. I really like what it looks like. The color comes out so beautiful. It's covered. I wasn't expecting it to be so liquidy and covered this much, and it's so lightweight, so it's like I don't have anything on my skin. I really like it a lot. I'm happy with this, as you said. So far, let's give it one more hour, two more hours, two days, three days, and see how this is going to turn out. Hopefully, it's going to turn out good. Eyebrow done, powder baking on my face. I want to see how this sets, this sits, and what it looks like after the powder. So, I'm only doing it right under my eye, and I have a powder right between my nose as well. So, let's see how this turns out when I get it out. I'm going to be using my MAC Cosmetic to contour my face, and this is in the color. NW58. I'm just gonna dab this that tiny bit. I'm using it. I'm gonna go down here. Same powder. My eyelids. I'm gonna be picking up the Drama Eye Color Palette by Profusion. This is what I will be using to add a bit of a color to my face. So let's try the liner. This is what it looked like. Let's stroke away. Let's see how easy it is. Oh, this is so easy. It's so nice. I like the brush on the tip. It's, look at it's just one stroke and does it? Does it? I'm gonna fill it in properly. I like this a lot. This is cute. I really like this pencil. It's so precise. And it's pretty dark. There's something on the tip. We need to get it out. Okay, so one of the brushes coming out. One of the bristles is coming out. This is cute. I like this a lot. I like you. Speak to your eye pencil and makeup if you like them. Do you do that? If you do that, leave a comment down below. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click the notification button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Be sure to thumbs up, leave a comment, share, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe.
So I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty blush again. Why did earlier where I use one color on one eye, the other color on the other eye, I'm definitely going to be doing the same thing again. So I will be using Grateful. What are you grateful for this year 2020 so far? Leave in the comment section, tell me what you're grateful for. I would like to know. I'm grateful to be able to be here today. I am going to be using grateful again on the left side of my face. So grateful. I'm going to put just a tiny bit over here. Oh, that is not tiny. Girl, that is not tiny. It looks tiny. It's not tiny. I know what happened earlier. And I am not using my finger this time. I'm going to be using my mini beauty blender. I'm using this flat side of it. This might be better liquid on liquid. If I apply this right after the foundation, before the powder, before the baking, it probably would have been wet. Oh, it's nice. I don't know if you see the glow. It glows. Look at that. You see? It glows. Oh, look at So there is a dot on here. I guess a lot of it soaked into my beauty blender. It kind of soaked in. So maybe use your finger or maybe use a beauty blender because it allows, it allows it to blend easily. This is just how I would want it to be. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Oh, okay, I'm going to try the other one. Lucky, tell me what you're lucky for. And tell us on the comment section. Come on, let's have a conversation in the comment section. I've been so lucky to make new wonderful friends with the S. Oops, okay, that's tiny. My eyeliner isn't a mistake. I wanted an upward motion, downward double motion. I can see so sad. Look at that. Why? Why? I need to pull it back. Alright, let's try to this in. This is so light and beautiful, so I'm so glad I didn't put too much. The, the glow that comes out of the blush is just on another level. It has like this nice dewy look that just glitter in the light. And I really, really, really love that a lot. It's beautiful. And also the eyeliner just glide right through like a gladiator, darling. And look at that. Glide. So the lipsticks that I bought were the fearless. Ooh. Wow. Fearless. And also inspired. Oh. I actually like all the positive name that comes with this. People on YouTube are inspiring me to want to continue creating video. Now, your turn. You tell me what inspired you or what has been inspiring you this year so far. I've been inspired by having people comment, like, subscribe to my channel. It's been very inspiring to see people's comments about my channel. And this is fearless. Ooh. Now, you know, I'm going to ask you that question. Now, of course, I'm going to ask you the question that you have to answer in the comment section below. Fearless. Why are you fearless? Are you fearless? Why are you fearless? What makes you fearless? I am fearless. Sometimes we get fearful. Don't get me wrong. I am fearless. I'm fearless because I have great, wonderful people around me. They are very pushy. Don't mind. Supportive all the time. Keeps me going most of the time so that's why i am here less this is nice both side of the lip applicator is flat on the top it looks like almost like a pyramid ah this is true chocolate on the second layer you get the real color on the second layer the first layer is like a bit lighter but on the second layer you get the same color as the bottom the same color that you see when you apply the top the second layer this is gorge course it's sensational. I'm impressed. I'm happy I picked this color. This color looks like the record button color. Looking at my monitor and the color on the record and this color almost look the same. Maybe that's a bit darker. But I'm going to do something. I'm going to do a top part of my lip with this color inspire. You are inspiring me to create a look today. So that look will be you on the top. It's red. This is like red. It's true red. Hmm. This is red, red. I'm a bit mm, with red lipstick. Let's see how this lip gloss is going to turn out. If I'm going to say never to red lipstick, I'm going to say more. 
I want fellas to stay with fellas and inspire to be inspiring out there. But inspiring want to take over. He wants to inspire fellas. It looks glossy when you first apply it, but it starts appearing as not so glossy later on. But it still have a little bit of a shine to it. Not too heavy shine. I love fearless because it looks to be my color. I love using colors like that to create an ombre. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I might go back to Sephora and see what other colors they have. See? Inspiring makes me want to go get more of it. So I'm going to powder my face. I am going to actually use this makeup for a month and come back and tell you what I think about it. I know I'm going to like it. I hope I'm going to like it. If you've used it before this video comes out, if you love it, like it. Do leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this makeup. Do you love it, like it, want it, need it, enjoy it? <laughs> Which of all of this applies to you? Share with us on the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me and trying out this Sweet Beauty by Selena Gomez. And in order to support more, do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos, share my content with the world and be a part of this family by joining the conversation in the comment section below. And visit my social media platform.